to understand how the atoms are um, arranged within an atom, I thought it would be good to um, introduce a little analogy. Okay, I call it the uh, atomic hotel. Um, it's essentially where electrons reside within an atom. All right, so you can think of it kind of like a building or a home for the electrons within the atom. Okay, now. Um, uh, here we have the uh, the quantum numbers that we're going to be describing with this analogy. Um, the uh, the four quantum numbers are n, l, m sub l, and m sub s. Okay, n uh, tells us the shell. Um, n, I mean rather l, tells us the subshell. M sub l is the orbital. And m sub s, of course, um, is uh, each electron has a unique value for these four quantum numbers. Okay, so here are the allowed values. N, the uh, the shell, can be one, two, three, on up to whatever you need. Then L starts at zero and it goes up to n minus one. Okay, so if n is zero is one. L can go from 0 to 1 minus 1, which is 0, so it can't be beyond 0. Whereas if n is 2, 2 minus 1, L can go from 0 to 1, okay? And so on and so forth. And then M sub L, whatever L is, um, M sub L can go from negative L to positive L. So if L is 0, M sub L can only be 0. If L is 1, it can be negative 1, 0, 1. If L is 2, it can be negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, or 2. Okay? And so on and so forth. M sub S, always negative and positive 1 half. So these restrictions, I think, uh, will be clearer or easier to remember uh, given this analogy. Okay? Um, so uh, N is the energy level. L tells us the shape of the uh, orbitals. M sub L gives us the orientation for the orbitals that uh, the electrons occupy. And then uh, M sub S is the spin. Okay, so let's look at the analogy. Um, the energy level, okay, that's uh, essentially the same. It's what level? We we're looking, it's kind of like a building, a multi-story building. And this is the uh, the level. Each floor has its own uh, level or own value for n. Okay, and then each floor has a certain number of hallways. All right, and uh, we'll see this in a little bit. Okay, that represents the values for L or the subshells. And then there's a uh, door or a room, uh, a certain number of doors and rooms in each hallway, okay, those represent the orbitals. And within each orbital, there are two chairs for two electrons, okay? So let's uh, take a look at this. First, um, uh, level one, we have, uh, <coughs> that's when n equals one, okay? So this is like the ground level of our uh, atomic hotel, <laughs> all right? Now, um, so here's where you enter in, and this is looking like at a floor plan. Here's the hallway, and we call it hall zero, or L equals zero, and we give it a letter also. When L is zero, we call that S, all right? Um, and then there's the door uh, that I have in green. That's M sub L is zero, okay? So, or door zero, or room zero, however you want to think of it. And then within the room, there are the two chairs uh, for M sub S of negative and positive one half. Okay, and the little orange dots represent the electrons in in the chairs. Okay, so here is the orbital. The orbital is represented by the the room, if you will, where the actual electrons are. They the electrons are in the orbital. Okay. And, uh, and then the subshell is the whole hallway and all the doors in it. In this case, there's only one door. 
or one room, right? And then this shell is the entire level and all of everything within that level, okay? So let's uh, look on uh, to, to level two, okay? Level two has two hallways. There's hall zero and there's hall one, right? Hall zero, that's L equals zero. We give it the letter S, just like just like before. Whenever L is zero, that's S. Hall one, L equals one, okay? We give it the letter P, okay? Now you'll notice uh, the uh, hall zero, or the S wing, if you will, has, it looks just the same as level one. Okay, has that one door at the end of the hallway. And within that uh, room of that door, that's the, the one orbital there, there are the two chairs for two electrons. Okay, now I've drawn this uh, circle or uh, really representing a sphere. That's the shape of the S orbital. Um, it's, a, it's a sphere that contains those two electrons, likewise up here. The S orbitals are spheres. So this wing is the S wing, if you will. That's the S subshell in the atom when L equals zero. And here is the, uh, the P wing or the P subshell. Uh, that's this uh, hallway when L equals one. And you'll notice here we have not only the door at the end, but doors on either side of the hallway, okay? We have one set of doors. We're, each room, each doorway is numbered. M sub L is zero, one, or negative one, okay? So here are the, uh, the quantum numbers represented. The level, that's N, N equals two. The hallway, or the wing, L equals zero, so N, L, and then M sub L, that's referring to the, the doors or the rooms, and then we have the spin, M sub S, plus or minus one half. That's for the individual uh, chairs, if you will, um, that the, the electrons are in, okay? So in the P wing, there are three orbitals, okay? There's the uh, M sub L is zero, M sub L is one, and M sub L is minus one. Have those three different rooms, if you will. Each orbital um, is in a different orientation, and also it has a different shape. It's not the sphere like the S orbital. The P orbitals have this uh, two-lobed shape, kind of like a, a, a dumbbell, all right? Um, you can think of it as it has, uh, if you took this sphere and you uh, pinched it in, it might look something like that, all right? So it has one pinch. Uh, when L equals one, it's got one pinch in there. Um, and there are three orientations. You know, you have vertical, horizontal, and then this would be in and out of the paper. That's the best I can draw that. All right, so um, so you'll notice here the the difference is in the P wing we've added a set of doors on either side of the hallway. Now if we look, we go up to the next level, level three. There are three hallways. Okay, um, so every level there's an additional hallway um, or wing. Uh, here in the S wing, looks just like it did before, one door, that's M sub L is zero, all right? Within there, there's the room with the two chairs, M sub S, plus and minus one half, okay? So S to sphere, one orbital. There's only one orientation for a sphere. You can't uh, rotate, I mean, it, it's always a sphere. If you rotate it, it's still the same shape. You can't tell any difference, all right? So that's why there's only one there. Um, and so this wing, that's the S subshell. Then on the P uh, wing, that's the, the P subshell, there are 
three orbitals or three doors uh, rooms okay where the electrons reside okay behind each door there are two chairs um, that seat the electrons right that's m sub s plus or minus one half in each case and uh, here m sub l negative one positive one and zero All right so once again the shape for the p orbitals is that uh, two lobe shaped or it has one pinch in the in the sphere if you take it and pinch it once that's what you would get <laughs>